I saw your guys' votes in the last episode. You guys want all of this kimchi. Well, a lot of you guys also don't want it and think it's gross. But I'm guessing the majority of you guys haven't tried before. It's essentially, it tastes like a pickle, but with garlic. And garlic makes everything better. My favorite thing in the world is to eat a whole bunch of kimchi and then make out with my girlfriend. It's not her favorite thing in the world. I'm like, how are you doing, babe? <laughs> Ah, uh, you guys think that's a joke. That's what's funny about it. But anyway guys, welcome back to the IS Crew Mode. If you haven't checked out the last episode, there was some absolute shenanigans that happened to it. I was, it's the closest I've ever had to just rage quitting a career mode. Um, but now, you know, let's put everything just in the past, okay? And I had a vote to see what you guys wanted me to play. You know, do I focus on the PSV or do I focus on Liverpool PSV? And the number one vote getter was, hey, why don't you play all three, fatty? You know what? You know what? I will. Hey. So for all you guys who've been like, there's not enough gameplay in these episodes, you're getting three in this one. Go ahead, pull up a fork. We eaten. We also asked you guys to go ahead and vote on which boots we should be giving Irvin Lanzano the Mexican International. And you guys went ahead and decided on giving him the green Puma boots. All right, all right, all right. So this is how his final look's gonna be. He's got the white, the red, and the green of the Mexican flag. Mm, love it. For the next player that we're gonna go ahead and customize, who you guys, well, well, we'll do a midfield battle here. Who do you want to customize? Wylan Cyprian, David Class, and El Capitano, or our CDM, new boy, Quarantine Tolisso. But the ah, thing is. In the last episode, we fired that useless sack of shit, Fizzy Boy, and we hired the Fisters. All right, we got Arthur and Urz, and we coming at you. And I also asked you guys, where should I go ahead and set up the scouting network? And surprisingly, we're going to a country I don't think we've ever gone before. The winning vote was the homeland of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Let's do physically strong, because I think that's our probably our best chance at getting a Zlatan, is getting someone physically strong uh, from Sweden, three months. Let's go ahead, let's do it up. And now we're gonna have the vote on where to send the other Fister brother, and we're gonna send our third scout to South America. Ajax in real life have really, you know, dedicated themselves to finding talent in South America, but we've every time we've gone to South America, it's always been like Argentina and Brazil that went, so we're gonna take them off of the list. We're gonna go, uh, to some smaller teams, okay? So their choice are gonna be Uruguay, which of course Suarez is from, Chile, who have won a lot of the Copa Americas recently. You know, uh, Ale Alexi Sanchez is from there. And then we're also going to go to Colombia right here. And the last choice is Venezuela. So those are your four choices. Go ahead, vote in the eye thingies on which one of the South American countries we should send our final scout to. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sim this match up against Gronagen. Let's see if we can do it. Three, two, thrust, sim, boom. Two easy peasy goals. Urban Lozano and Toliso getting on the scoreboard. And we shall continue to go ahead and train up the likes of Bam Bam, Fosu Mensa, Dolberg, Holson, and Toliso. We have gotten our first, our first t -t -t monthly scouting update. Can Minoru come through once again? Can he do what this never really could do? Get us some sexy. Sexy pot. Oh! Oh! God! Put a finger in my butthole because I am ready to blow. Max, Max, the Baker man. Can you do it or no one can? 74 to 94 right off the bat. Fuck it, eh? Yo, I'm only hiring Japanese scouts. I'm the racist. Only Japanese scouts from now on because motherfucker come through. He is the chosen scout on prospect number one. Next dude is still a 90. What else you got for me? 66, okay, so the party has ended, but I mean, but two 90s off the bat. Can't start much better than that. Uh, oh! <laughs> in one month, found as many stars as this did in fucking two seasons, I swear. I think we made the right choice. This, this, come back in, come back in. Go fuck yourself. All right, with Liverpool coming up in the Champions League and only a couple days away, we are gonna be starting our second teamers. Peru, our scout feature star from two seasons ago, is actually in this match. We're gonna submit in three, two, wait, no, one, two, thrust. All right, 2-1 win. We go ahead, Sink Robin and Rossi getting on the board. And a lot of you guys have been saying, play Rossi more, play Rossi more. He's getting a lot of minutes. 
Uh, but he's just not always in the starting lineup. International management offer from China. Wrong career mode, buddy, but I can assure you, when we get that Chinese career mode going, I would like to see this message back in there. And it's coming, guys. I'm sorry for the delay, but the new series is coming. Unfortunately, the guy that I usually get my kick-ass thumbnails from has fallen really, really ill, and I'm waiting for him to get better. I don't want to rush him back, because that's just, you know, it's a career boat. It's not your health. And once he's better and gets the thumbnail out, I got everything ready to go. New series is on the way. All right, leading up to this, let's talk. You know what? I'm going to praise. I'm going to praise, because I love Jurgen Klopp. I'm not going to lie. As a manager, he's, he's just so entertaining and likable. Like, how do you... I know I'm a Manchester United fan, and you're not supposed to like anything Liverpool, but Klopp is just, it's Kloppy. He's just so, like, he's, he's like your uncle who coached you in, like, soccer. You know what I'm saying? What? Erwin Lozano, boss, since I last mentioned to you, I'm not getting enough time on the pitch, so I decided I want to go on the transfer list and move to a club where I'll be regular. You get pretty much all the starting minutes, Irving. What are you doing? I customize you and this is how you repay me. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, Irvin. This marks a monumentous moment for all my fans who have been with me since the beginning and have OCD. This is the first time I think I'm ever starting a lineup where everyone is over 80. Well, 80 at least. As you can see in this lineup, we have switched out Dalbert for Kenny Tete. We've had defensive issues in the previous couple of episodes, so we are going to switch it up. Dalbert is out on the left back position. Sanchez, Juste, Onana in between the sticks. And then it's pretty much shot from there. Tolisso, Erickson, Klaassen, Cyprian or Cyprian, Promise, Dolberg, who's up to an 85. Oh, very, very nice. And Irvin Lozano out on the right side on the bench. We have the upstart Yusuf Polson, Kenny Tete, Fosu, Mensa, Brian Dabo, Cherny, Kagawa, and Eduardo Rossi. Let's go ahead and get into this game. Ooh, away leg on. Is it raining? It just seems a little bit of drizzle. Christian Eriksen returning to play up against his former team, who we scored against the last time we played them. And uh, I don't think, I think he did the big man. And by the way, guys, for everyone asking how to do the big man dance, it's a left bumper or it should be like L1, and then you hold right on your analog stick. Liverpool will go ahead and set up with this. Roberto Firmino up stop this time. Sadio Mane, Coutinho, Lucas Leva, and then pretty much everyone that they had from last time. All right, let's get into it. Last time we played Liverpool, it was a relatively close match. It was a 2-0 victory, but it was only because we netted, you know, uh, basically in the 90th minute when Liverpool had thrown everything in the kitchen sink up. So, we'll see if this will be more of the same. Oh, no! Oh, dear. That was a terrible tackle from Quincy. Is it going to be a straight red? It is. He gets away with murder there. Quincy, you're a lucky boy. Pinging it forward. Oh, what a fucking touch. Hey, new bush. I'm recording. I'm actually going to play with you on here, and we're going to still talk. Continue, new bush. Go shish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love you. All right. I'm done with her. I can concentrate now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, good save, Onana. Good save. Oh, they are just leaving this wide open. Heavy touch to the inside. Get to the back post. Oh, Karius, you bitch! Dolberg, 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 be faster! There's Calamity. Oh my god! Absolute chaos in the back! And we pounce! Lovely! Who is it who scored? Is that Irving? Oh! And the man of the hour, the man of controversy, goes ahead and gets it. The Mexican International, sneaky diggies, much like the other guy, just a poacher in the situation. Absolute! <laughs> Yo, what the fuck was going on? Look at this shit. I gotta replay this, guys, because this is hilarious. This, they saw the tomfooling shenanigans, and EA said, you know what? Hold my beer. It gets taken down. This should be an easy clear for either Montip or Stuart. Stuart decides to go clear it. Gets stuck. Oh, look at that. The non-clipping in action. EA Frostbite engine at its finest. Oh, dearie dear. Look at Stewart just collide with Montip's ankle, fall down. Not only that, get in Montip's way so that no one can get onto it. 
EA giveth and EA taketh away. And that is half. Uh, I guess the best way to describe it is it's been strange. As you can see, it's utter domination possession, but Liverpool have had their chances to break. Um, our position is pretty secure, but we'd like to win the group. And by winning this match, it would assure just that. Do it, Ericsson. Oh, come on! Eric! Oh, uh, beautiful. On diagonal. Dalbert able to recover, but now we have to make the difficult decision. Who do we cost it here? Who's staying? And it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, Liverpool come flying out of the gates in the second half. Fortuitous bounce for fortuitous bounce. I'm not going to complain because, I mean, that's just totally fair. <laughs> that's only fair. They got a bullshit goal. We got a bullshit goal. One last chance for romance. You got the distance. Get it. No. Oh. Oh. But a 1-1 result is not the worst. I think we hold position. Liverpool were in second place. Uh, if you go ahead and take a look at the match stats, Liverpool fought back, but it was a pretty even match, pretty much even on everything. Match ratings, Urban Lozano gets 8.5, um, and a mediocre, I don't know, it was a mediocre performance. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and motivate the lads. Five days to rest up to go against our bitter rivals in PSV and Santiago Bar. When we take a look at the table, this presents a golden opportunity for us. Feyenoord have dropped points in their latest match, and we, with a win, can leapfrog them in points. PSV are struggling once again this year, sitting on the outside, looking in, but a win for them could also catapult them back into top four contention. All right, guys, a little bit of a rotated side up against PSV. We have Promise and Dolberg up top, uh, but on the right side, a lot of you guys have been asking, we're gonna start Eduardo Rossi, aka Draquino, in the midfield. Most of the same suspects, Ericsson, Klaassen, Cyprian, Tolisso, and uh, Sanchez was a little bit tired, so we're bringing in Fosu Mensa into that main position. Brian Dabo also on the right side, and Dalber was mighty fun. I, I liked him a lot, actually. So we're gonna keep him in there. Onana on the bench. We have Poulsen, Huste, Sanchez, Tete, Cherny, Kagawa, and Lozano. We probably don't need this many, so we're gonna trade out. Nori's gonna go ahead and come in. This could be last dance romance for young Santi Escobar. We're able to hit him out now. He might not even made top four. So let's go ahead, have a bit of kimchi, and let's see if we can get this man fired. I basically said everything there needs to be said. We played PSG a million bajillion times. They set up in a 4-3-3. Let's go ahead and smash their heads in. Do it, Erickson! <laughs> <laughs> Two fucking minutes in. Oh, let's do the big man with Ericsson. Once you guys requested it, that his this be his celebration the whole series. Oh shit, I dropped my control. <laughs> Lovely hold up play from Dolberg. And the positioning on Ericsson and the finish to tuck it away, finesse shot to the far post. That is an 88 rated caliber player, man. Why couldn't you do this in the last game? Three goals in the air to Vizzy. He has warmed quite nicely back in the Dutch league. Oh, that's great work. Toliso! Oh no! Come on! I know you can ping him! Dolberg, do it! Easy as you like! God, the beautiful game at its prettiest! And I saw this off the Ajax uh, Twitter. Instead of calling him Dolberg, they call him Goldberg. Because look at this. Too freaking easy. Who was that little dynamic run that went in there and then we played it back and just... Oh, Arsenal, Barcelona-esque, man. Final hours right here. Final hours of Santiago Bar. I'll get fucked! What a fucking fantastic curl in from the championship player. This May kid, I believe he's like starting for like Grimsby Town or someone and... 37 shot error, that's 37 shot error, and after not doing much this whole match, they're back in it. And that is halftime. 
Sucker Punch Central for us. Let's look at the match facts. It's not like they haven't looked dangerous. As you can see, it looks a little bit more even. Although, our chances have been very, very nice. High quality ones, and we're dominating possession. It's gonna make the second half a little bit more nervous. We need these points, but so do PSV. Playing with their backs up against the wall. Do it, Claussen! Ah! Oh. Fire it! Woo hoo hoo! Cyprian! 69 minute. Time to bring in some impacts us. Poulsen, can he pull it out for us? We're gonna bring in Kagawa in the cam position, actually take out Cyprian, and move Ericsson into one of the CM positions and bring in Urban Lozano for a bit more pace on the outside. What the f Okay, apparently that wasn't a foul. But we let him into the mid. Okay! No! Great save, clear, 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 clear. We can't break here if we want to. Oh, promises acres of space. Finish it! Lovely! Right down the pipeline and right down their throats. Get down! No Europa League for you! And back on top of the league for Ajax. Way to clutch it, Quincy. Way to fucking clutch it. That's why we bought your ass. Destruction. Oh! <laughs> 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 fucking Quincy! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! God fucking damn! Quincy with the fucking Dragon Ball Z! Come me, y'all, me, y'all! Holy fuck! Decepticons! Get your energons! And our Star Boys going full on weekend in this match. Oh! Lads! Lads, look at how happy it makes the eye sense. I do it. I do it just a yo. If you look on paper, it's a hard fought game. Pretty close, you know, eight to seven. Both of us had five shots on target and almost even in possessions, almost even in tackles. The man of the match going to Dolberg's son. Interesting. He got himself a goal and probably got himself one assist. Assist also coming two from Yusuf Pulsed. In the short time he was on the pitch, he been doing all kinds of things. Quarantine Tolisso also getting one and a goal coming uh, two from promise one from Ericsson and one from Dolberg aka Goldberg son I'm gonna do the happy dance I'm gonna do the happy dance but we cannot celebrate because three days away PSV can play spoiler to us in the orange cup they can knock us out and destroy our chances of a treble well that would be a dick punch and a half Bruh. I'm gonna go ahead and talk shit about Santi Escobar. I hope your ass is fired today. <laughs> All right, a little bit of a rotated side in this one. We're going Lozano, Dolberg, Pavan, Dabo, Nori, Cyprian, Taliso, Sanchez, Dalber, and Juste. Onana in between the six. In fact, I think we'll give Poulsen a little bit of run at first just because he's at max stamina. And on the bench, we'll have Dolberg, Riddlewald, Fosu Mensa, Kagawa, Cherny, Erickson, and Rossi, who are break in case of emergency options. This was the only piece of software that actually eluded us last season. So one can actually say that we should be focusing on this one the most. PSV, go ahead and set up like this, same as last time. 4-3-3, uh, Narsing now on the right side, Enriksen in the midfield. 3-4-3, uh, three, three. and I'm gonna pose a little bit. Do you guys want a little bit of a variation in this? I know a couple of you guys have been saying that, uh, you know, and the majority of you guys seem to like this and the views have been very high, but a couple of you guys have been saying that like, oh, this career mode is getting, you know, a little bit old. You've done this enough. And I want to spruce things up, guys. Know that I'm making a new series and that this series will be over um, probably within a couple of weeks. And know that I got some ideas. I got some ideas coming in to spruce this career mode up a little bit. We've been loving the 343. This has been the signature of this uh, series. But would you like me to try out a new formation? Let me know in the eye. Mm. Oh, dear. Oh, we got turned all the way to Sunday. All right, let's try it. Boom! Go! Ah, oh, he was offsides, but what a goddamn routine we had. How far away was he? Mmm. If you would just. No one even marked me. They were a lot better in this match to break up our play. 
All right, going into half. Uh, once again, we have not been able to find our ground. We've had opportunities, but nothing great. PSV has actually just been shooting like a fire hydrant, but not many, not much quality in it. Erickson! Oh! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? At the near post, Onada! You're right there! That's some bullshit. 65th minutes. And we're down. We need to find a way through. We're gonna bring in Dolberg. We're actually gonna move Pulsin to a center mid position. I don't know if this is the smartest thing, but we just need more if it's a firepower out there. So let's go, Dolberg. Take it away. Dolberg! Oh my fucking god. Now the eighth minute. It's now or never. Dolberg, I do not know how you did it, but you have! What the fuck was the keeper doing? Dumbfounded, started to turn! Oh, extra time! Let's go! I cannot believe that just happened. My dear lord. I I had pretty much conceded that, like, okay, guess we're not gonna get in trouble this year, but we somehow are back in. Nori! Ah! Fuck it, A! Come on, man! You gotta finish! Let's go! Take it in, Rossi! Squared it to the middle! Don't work! He was not good on this! <laughs> Yo! I don't even have words anymore, man. I don't even have words. Rossi, Eduardo, link it up with Dolberg. Emotional scenes as we pull it back up against one of our most heated rivals. Fucking spank me and call me Shirley. I have never won a penalty shootout up against the CPU on Legendary. So let's not take it there. I say once again, let's not take it there. I say once again, let's not take it there. I say once again, let's not take it there. Oh, Nana. Nah. Good work. No mas. No mas, fuck, he has positioning! Somebody stop him! Oh, no, no! <laughs> oh, I got my dick in my mouth right now. First level of injury time. Or is that match? Was that the first part or the second part? Okay, that was the first part. I'm fucking... It's too emotional right now. <laughs> okay, I remember. Can we hold on? And I think it's a wise decision right here. With only 15 minutes left to play that we switch it to a formation that has four in the back. We're switching up to 4-3-3 defending, and this fucking hodgepodge of Alana Dauber on the right side, Sanchez, who stayed on the center backs, Lozano is gonna play left back. Toliso is pretty much dead, but he's still at the CDM spot. Dolberg playing the other CDM, Erickson, and then Poulsen up top with the Jordan Rossi on the right side, and Nori out on the left. Fuck this, man. If I could pass it around the back, I will. Run right into the corner, Nori. Do it! Oh! Pulsing. No, 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 no. And we're through! Oh, fuck it. Hey! We make it through after being down one in the 92nd minute. We come back in injury time to score the equalizer. And then in extra time, pull ahead and hold on for one more day. And with that guys, I'm pretty much gonna conclude this episode of the IX Career Mode. Ah, we made it through December. In the next episode, we are in the January window and we can make some transfers actually. So go ahead, tell me in the comments down below who we should transfer, what you know spots in the team do you think need some strengthening up? Should we be selling any players? You know, all that good stuff. If you didn't check out the last episode, we're just some absolutely ridiculous shenanigans. EA fucked me good and hard. Go ahead and check out that episode right here. If you want to get caught up with the series, go ahead and check out this stuff over here. China's Career Mode is coming to you ASAP. ASAP, but that is pretty much it from me, Bimas. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself, stay humble, and be weird.